Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game and some very exciting music to introduce the fact that we are back in Steam Prison to start Adage's route. Now there's no Adage on the screen because I got paranoid after starting um, Ulrich's route and having extra scenes at the beginning, so I'm actually starting from the very beginning and thought I would pick a couple new options just to see what's what changes with it? Probably very little. Just on the off chance, too, that there's some extra scenes that I've unlocked after doing Ulrich's End. If there's nothing of any consequence, I'll just cut all this out. But on the off chance there is something good, I will just keep this in. So we will see. Anyway, this is our first choice in Steam Prison, when, uh, back when we worked with Finn. And there was a thievery, so I'm going to catch a man this time instead of getting the bag. I didn't want to leave the bag on the ground, but I couldn't let him escape, either. I have to catch him, no matter what! I managed a new burst of speed and slammed into his back. We both rolled across the pavement. Ah! Surrender! Even if he wanted to escape, he couldn't. I sat on his body and restrained him with rope. You have the right to remain silent. Everything you say can be used against you. You- Let, let me go! Stop struggling! Anyway, you're under arrest. You can think about a good excuse while you're in your cell. I checked the rope to make sure he couldn't free himself, then I stood up. The man stayed on the ground, resigned to his fate. Good grief. <laughs> Looks like there's nothing for me to do anymore. Finn. I found this on the way. I believe it's the woman's. You picked it up! Good work! Oh, I didn't do anything. Stand still for a moment. Hmm? Finn took a white handkerchief and wiped something off my cheek. Aw, so thoughtful. There. You had some dirt on your cheek. I'll handle our culprit now. Thanks. Alright. And with that color change, we're back on track. So we'll see what our next choice is. Whether there's anything different there. Oh, this. <laughs> um. Yeah, sure. Why not? Ah. I thought I was used to having him stare at me, but... There was a heat in his gaze that wasn't usually there, and it made me embarrassed. It's... Just Finn, stupid. Desperate to distract myself from my discomfort, I laughed along with my reply. <laughs> of course it is. This was tailored for me, you know. Of course it looks good on me. Yes. Yes, you're right. His agreement came instantly. I guess this is typical of him. I wanted him to laugh, to do something, but he didn't. He just kept gazing at me. Man, if I had picked that option, like, way back when, I would have had so much more, like, sus feelings at this point. <laughs> Good job, me. Um, would you stop staring? Oh! I I'm sorry. It's a very unexpected sight. It must be. I tend to prefer more rustic and masculine clothes. My ordinary outfits aren't this attractive. That's not true. You're always wonderful. Finn. Oh, I'm sorry. That must have been odd. Please, forget everything I said here. Please. Finn was now bright red. Probably as red as I was. The tailor smiled, having observed our conversation from a distance. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not our fiancé, though, Mr. Taylor. <laughs> Unless he's just like... I'm damn good at my job. <laughs> I made an amazing wedding dress. I should get paid more. I mean, he did make an amazing wedding dress. She looked good. Wonder if I'll ever see her in a wedding dress. Like, for an actual wedding. <laughs> um, okay, for this one, let's go together, you and me. We don't have time to think. According to the instruction letters, departure was imminent. We'll investigate together. 
Come on, Finn. Uh, okay. I hope nothing goes wrong. The space inside could fit three or four people comfortably. It was completely empty. There wasn't even any dust. So what are we supposed to do now? Well, just accept your faith, I guess. Alright. Yeah, I don't know when we're going to actually run into Adage, because it's, uh... I've only run into him once so far in one ending of Elts Root. And that was basically it, so... I know he's a doctor down here in the Sanctuary District somewhere. I assume it's the Sanctuary District, or it might just be the depths somewhere. But we have to stay in the Sanctuary District to find him, so that's why I'm like, eh. Because there's this guy, <laughs> who's uh, nothing but trouble. So mad at myself that I didn't notice the restraints on his table all this time. Um, anyway... Let's just do a lot of Finn stuff. What about you? What's, what's going on? What about you, Finn? Ah... Uh, You've been quiet for a while now. What's wrong? Oh, I... I'm just a little exhausted from the unusual environment. I'm sorry. Okay. That was me avoiding Ines's question, I guess. That's not a bad strat. <laughs> I'll probably go through some of this when I do Enos's route, because there's quite a bit with him early days. But man. No new scenes as of yet. Which I'm okay with, honestly. If there's no more just random Yandere Finn being random Yandere Finn, this is a good thing. I'm okay with that. Or, we could have this. The saint himself could show up right now. <laughs> All right. I'll excuse myself then. Yes, good work. No matter how much paperwork I do, there's always more. I know that it's necessary to keep things running smoothly, but... Hmm. Come in. Please excuse me. A criminal disposition notice? Yes. I was contacted by an official from the Waste Processing Department. This seemed like it would interest you. I see. Thank you. And thank the official there as well. I will. Excuse me. A criminal disposition notice. It lists the charges against the criminal and the proceedings leading up to their judgment. These are normally archived, not disposed of. Very odd. Proceedings were opened yesterday, and the judgment was yesterday. It doesn't matter what crime it is, it should take at least a week. Very, very odd. The victims are the Testellas, husband and wife. Keith Testella. He's a delegate. Why was something involving a government official not put on my desk? And the killer was their daughter. I see. Killed her own parents. Interesting. So has he always gotten that info? I like that Yune, like, people assume Yune is, or Warner anyway, assumes that Yune's kind of being kept in the dark and not really knowing what's going on. Okay, so this is a new choice we haven't had before. Um, I'm going to accept. I guess if I did this, maybe Yune would run to my rescue. But it's not Yune's turn yet, so we're just going to continue as per normal. But yeah, I, I really like that Yune's kind of puts on the innocent act, but he's very well informed about stuff. 
I do wonder why he doesn't act more, though. Hmm. Getting me all curious about you, Nay. Um. But yeah, I, I need to stay here for sure, so I will be in your debt, Merlo. We're practically strangers. Normally I would decline, but the situation was rather dire. If I turned him down, I was in trouble. I had no real choice but to nod. I'll be in your debt. If your mother says it's okay, then I'll stay the night. All right! She's going to say yes. Don't worry! You mean a lot to me! I mean a lot to you? Yes. If it hadn't been for you, that wily man would have hurt me. Wily? <laughs> you know a pretty complicated word. Someone who lives near us taught it to me. Oh no, it's almost night. This place is really dangerous at night. We have to go now. The boy took my hand and began to run. Look where you're going, okay? Okay, I will. I didn't feel particularly reassured by that. I guess children his age are like that. Watching him lead the way made me smile. I am looking forward to spending more time with uh, Merlo and Ryleth. I mean, I presume I'm going to? Unless Cyrus is just like, I can't stay with them, I'm endangering them because of crazy socks boy. Which is a possibility. Oh, it's gonna be so weird not seeing Elton Ulrich. Man. Well, I've only- <laughs> there's one choice I haven't picked yet, so... <laughs> Sorry, Elt. Eh. If that's the truth, he's a terrible man. Then again, during the time I'd met him, he hadn't seemed dangerous. The air he gave off was more aristocratic than anyone else down here, including me. Which could be a good reason in itself to be wary. Apparent harmlessness was no guarantee of what lay beneath. Monsters didn't always look like monsters at first glance. I suppose I'll have to reserve judgment. Okay. And then when Ulrich shows up, I gotta be meaner than usual to him and tell him to get lost, basically. And then I probably won't see those two again the, the entire route. It's gonna be so, so strange. Not going to Libra Lita's, not hanging out with those two and their shenanigans. I... Uh, yeah. I can't take that. Why not? I'm offering it to you, weirdo. I can't accept charity like this from a stranger. That's the only real charity there is. Beggars can't be choosers, right? Literally, in this case. What? I'm not a beggar! You were trying to drink from this muddy trickle there. What else are you? <laughs> Look now. I really hate this back and forth crap, okay? There's no point to it. Drink the damn water. He's a pretty rude guy. Then again, he was probably right. I have to know when my pride is just getting in the way. I took the water skin from him and opened the lid. Actually, there's something I need to ask before that. <laughs> so no matter what, I get bullied into taking the water anyway. Oh man, I'm gonna miss Ulrich. He's so sassy. Although, Adage is pretty sassy himself from the very brief interactions we've had with him. So, maybe there's a chance? How interesting. We're going through this. Okay, I'm really glad I started over from the beginning. Because... Oh no, never mind. Here it is. I'm like, did we just skip Finn's stuff? I was just a little premature. Okay. I am relieved. So all this stuff gets shown regardless but you can you can choose when you get to see it in a way depending on where you load from i am glad i reloaded though for that yune scene that was very interesting indeed all right finn again blurg go away we're not dealing with you right now 
I do wonder how much Glissade is going to feature in this, being a doctor himself. Like, I feel there would be bad blood between him and Adage, but maybe not. Just because they're both doctors doesn't mean they know each other after all. Ah, here's the time to say nope. I can't believe I'm doing this, but here we go. I wanted to go back to the Heights and not be even further away outside these walls. My chances of returning to the Heights were surely better in the Sanctuary District, since it was under the Temple's administration. I felt reluctant about accepting the proposition. I thought this would be an easy decision, given your life here. But it looks like you're gonna say no. Yeah. Sorry. I felt a little sorry for Ulrich, but he was unperturbed. Hmm. Alright. Have fun collecting trash or something. Bye. Oh, wait! Yeah? Tell your employer I said thank you for reaching out to me. I was looking for a job for a long time. I was losing hope. It gives me courage again to know that someone required my services. I would have preferred it if you met that guy who needs you in person. But all right. I'll tell him if I feel like it. Ulrich said goodbye and turned around. He disappeared behind a corner. I followed him and looked around it, but he was gone. Should I really have turned him down? I wondered whether I had made the right decision, but he was gone. The chance had passed. For better or worse, I've said goodbye to that life. I decided I would eke out a living here. I can do it. Alright, here we go. Whoa. You are so cute! Oh, you are adorable in that outfit! And you got pants! Yay! Pants, hype, pants, hype, pants, hype. <gasps> it's green! Now we get green. Cool. I like, I like. I'll compose myself and continue. I like that that's true for me as well. I need, <laughs> I need to compose myself now that I'm actually on the prisoner route. I wanted to redouble my search with enthusiasm, but I felt lethargic. It wasn't a question of motivation. My body just didn't seem to respond properly when I tried to move. <sighs> I stumbled towards a nearby wall and steadied myself. Why am I feeling so tired? I had slept and eaten enough, but my breathing was uneven and I felt dizzy. Medicine? Perhaps I was in prison for too long. I felt a pain in my chest and my heartbeat was rapid. But I can't stay here. I told myself it was only temporary and tried to walk away. Whoa! I'd stumbled and fallen. How could I stumble there? I'm pathetic. Had my body really become that weak? I need to take a break. I sat down and looked at the sky. It was an endless expanse of grey, completely different from the blue I was used to. I saw the state of my own soul reflected in it. I haven't seen a single sunny day since I arrived here. The sky in the heights was usually blue, and I had assumed that would be the same for all skies. I'm looking at the same sky and yet seeing something different. Could you really, like, just show up now? Really? What's wrong? Aren't you feeling well? Um... <sighs> Can you... Really? Really? All I had to do was just turn down an a job offer and I would have ran into you immediately? With a CG, like, just right off the bat? I... I love. I'm... I'm big fan. I will say right now, big fan of all that. I looked up and saw a man with a bag in one hand looking down on me. His hair was black, but it reminded me of the blue sky. His eyes were red and staring at me from between strands of hair. Who are you? Does it matter? Are you feeling unwell? Say yes or no. Yes. Okay. 
Do you want a doctor to look at it? Say yes or no. What? This was a strange exchange, but I nodded and said yes. I see. I'm a doctor. I can look at you. Do you have money? Say yes or no. The hounds took my money. No. I see. Then I won't look at you. Goodbye. Sheesh. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. The man left. What? He'd started talking to me, then found out I had no money, then left. Is he even a doctor to begin with? Glissade and the doctors in the Heights exemplified what a doctor was in my view. This man didn't. Ha ha! Ha, Glissade, yeah. He was suspicious. Hmm? The man had turned around and come back. Uh, I like what you got going on with your pants there. Very nice. He stopped in front of me and looked at me. Could you imagine a doctor that dressed like this, though? Like, 10, 10 out of 10 for style, even with the weird, like, belt buckle thing on your shirt. Shirt sleeve. Hmm. What is it? I'll look at you. Uh... I said I'll look at you. But I have no money. That's okay. Pay me back another time. Another time? No, never mind. I have nothing to give you. Besides, I suspect you are no doctor. Adage. Hmm? That's my name. I don't have a doctor's license because they took it from me when they sent me down. Oh. You were a doctor in the Heights. Okay. That meant... Are you a criminal too? Yes. So I should say that I was a doctor, not am. I have nothing to identify myself. All I can show you. He crouched down, showing me the contents of his bag. Are my medical implements. Oh. I wasn't an expert in medical matters, but felt sure that they were genuine. You seem like a real doctor. If you'll agree, I'll examine you. Okay, so I've been given some advance warning from Mara uh, that Adage likes honest and practical answers. So I would definitely not do this because that's not practical. Um, this is being suspicious. The practical thing is to just take it because something is wrong with her, I believe. So <laughs> let's see. All right. Grand. Good, good. Th thank you very much. You should thank a doctor afterwards. Some things can't be treated. Well, all the same. At least you looked at it, so thanks for that. Yes, but I appreciate the thought. It's fine. I'm just doing what anybody would. He knelt down in front of me and placed his bag on the ground. Doctors treat our sicknesses. That's how it works. You're a good person, Doctor. His eyes twitched and he looked away. <gasps> you don't have to call me Doctor. They stripped me of my license, remember? Just call me Adage. Alright, Adage. There you go. You. Um... Your name. You've got a name, right? Oh, right. Sorry. My name is Cyrus. I see. Open your mouth. Adage kept talking to me during the examination. He checked my mouth, my eyes, my sense of touch. It was like the medical exams I'd had in school. It's just malnutrition. Oh, is that all? Okay. Phew. Adage took out a syringe from his bag. A needle. You don't like needles? Are you ten? Well, excuse you! I don't like needles either, and I'm not ten, so take it back. 
Sorry that I can't get any nice needles down here. You'll have to bear with it. I don't like needles, but mainly I don't like being injected with something I don't know. Oh, I see. Don't worry, it's just nutrients. Adage showed me another syringe and a small bottle. You can't read the label, but it's the same, right? Y yes I'll give myself a shot and you afterwards. That'll make you trust it, right? N no, because you can just put whatever label you want on any bottle. <laughs> but sure. Yes. Adage shot the entirety of it into his arm. I looked back and forth between his arms. Nothing in particular happened. Nothing is happening, it seems. Do you think it's safe now? I nodded as he put a bandage around his arm. I'm sorry to be so distrustful, Adage. It's alright. It's reasonable to protect yourself. I wouldn't trust myself either if I were you. Why? Because I'm too rough. You realize that? Yeah. I'm very capable of reflecting on myself and judging my strengths and weaknesses. We went off topic. I'll give you the shot now. Uh, okay. <laughs> I nodded and took a deep breath. It's alright. It won't hurt as much as the sword. It won't hurt as much as the sword. It won't hurt as much as the sword. Relax. The needle will hurt more if your muscles are tense. <laughs> uh... This should be enough. Stay put here for a moment. You'll start feeling better. Adage held the empty syringe between his teeth and put a gauze on my arm. He took white bandages from his bag, skillfully wrapping them. That was enough to stop the bleeding. Leave it on for half a day, all right. Adage was returning his tools to his bag. I said I'd follow his instruction. Bye, then. Take care. Please, wait. I held him back by the sleeve. Yeah. Thank you. You examined me even though I had nothing to offer. He gave me an annoyed look, but I didn't back down. The injection, the bandages... It must be hard to come by those down here. How do I... When you can. Um. Pay me back if you make it big down here. Okay. Adage said nothing else and walked away. I wanted to follow him, but my body wasn't ready yet. Thank you, Adage! I yelled more words of gratitude at his disappearing shape. He never turned around. This is a strange place. You can say that again. When I had been completely demoralized, a man had appeared who had need of me. When I had been ill, a man had appeared to help me. Perhaps life was grim, but it made me realize that hope was not dead yet. I want to be the one helping others someday. I believe in you, girl. Believe in the stream. Evening came, and after it, nightfall. I went back having accomplished nothing. Accomplished nothing? You met your future boo. That's a huge accomplishment. I'm motivated, but... I shut the door. I was thinking that if I exerted myself without results, that wasn't helping anyone. You're back! I'm back, Merlo. Ryleth. I was just preparing to serve dinner. Wash your hands and sit down. I scooped up some of the water as I washed my hands. I looked more healthy in the reflection. Apparently, I wasn't the only one who thought so, because Ryleth put her hand on my shoulder. You look a lot better than you did this morning. Did something nice happen? Oh, yes. I wasn't feeling well and was sitting on the ground. A doctor helped me. Really? That's very lucky. Yes, it really is. He said I could pay him once I have the money. <laughs> then you'll have to find a job, won't you? We sat down at the table and ate. It really was very lucky. 
The doctors in the Sanctuary District all take money. Really? Yes. And a lot of money at that. I can't get them to even examine me. But you... It's strange. What was the doctor's name? Adage. He was a young man. Do you know him? Adage. No. I've never heard of him. Merlo? Nope. I see. There are a lot of people in the Sanctuary District. It isn't so surprising. I mean... Unless he was just recently sent down? I don't know. Very strange. If they didn't know him, it would be, it would be very difficult to find him again. But he's here in the Sanctuary District. I should be able to track him down eventually. I need to be able to repay his kindness by the time I do. 